Hi folks, this is Dr. Rob Sivis. I am the Carb Addiction Doc. And today, the title of this video is Keto Moments. Keto Moments, K-E-T-O Moments. What does that mean? What, 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 what is a keto moment? Well, we understand that when you give up carbohydrates, you replace them with food that is high in fat, has some protein, free of carbohydrates, that's a ketogenic diet. We talk a lot about not snacking, having a bridge, which is a non-calorie containing drink. We talk about those. That's on the nutritional side. But what most people don't understand is that when you quit carbohydrates, they leave another massive void in your life. And most people aren't even aware of this because the reason you get into trouble with carbohydrates and snacking substance addiction and a process addiction, the reason we get into trouble with that is because we use carbohydrates as a dysfunctional but very effective emotion management setup. Carbohydrates, when you consume them, give us instant relief from all the stresses and the depressions and the anxieties and the angers and the fears and the boredoms and the frustrations and the pleasure that we encounter in life, what I call emotional tension. And if you don't recognize the day that you quit carbohydrates, you're leaving a massive, massive emotion management void in your life. Then you're doomed to relapse or doomed to find something else. You're going to be drinking more alcohol, being more angry, getting more depressed. Because you will do a transfer to some other instant gratification methodology unless you're in charge of it. So what are keto moments? When I was fat, I always used to have a case of Coke and a big, one of those big family bags. Well, I am the family. Bags of M&Ms, where I was the whole family. Because I'd go through a big-ass bag of M&Ms every day and a case of Coke. It takes work to be fat. We don't recognize it because we pretend we're, pretend we're okay. It's like the smoker that smokes five cigarettes a day. Actually, it's 20. Be that as it may, I wouldn't go in there and pig out on M&Ms little handful, two or three, two or three, two or three, throughout the day. And by the end of the day, that supersized family bag, well, I guess I am a family man. <laughs> family man. Maybe that qualifies me. But I'd flatten a whole bag of M&Ms every day. would sneak into Walmart in the middle of the night and go and buy those big-ass bags. They were $8 or something on rollback and justified that. So those were... Moments of emotional relief. And it is so critically important that we replace those moments of caloric or of carbohydrate emotional relief with what I call keto moments. A keto moment is a little thing that you do, a tiny little thing that you do that's the equivalent to two or three M&Ms, but you develop it as something you're continuously looking for the opportunity. And what it does, is it makes you feel good about yourself unconditionally because those m&ms get you high but on the back end there's negativity guilt and harm but when i do and i have a little keto moment something that i do tiny little thing it makes me feel great if i recognize that good feeling i'm proud of myself and that pride because it has no negativity to it that pride in tiny little increments grows self-esteem and self-confidence so stupid little silly thing I've lost 98 pounds. Guess what I can do? I'm, not, I'm going to bump the mic, so I'm not going to do it right now. But I can cross my legs. That was 40 pounds of weight loss, folks. Most skinny people don't understand what a cool thing it is when you can cross your legs. And every time I do that, and I look down, I say, I worked hard for that. I'm proud of that. I'm never going to let that go. That's two M&Ms of pride. When I can park my car a little further away and walk that extra distance in, that's a moment of pride plus emotional relaxation. When I can leash up my dog and we go for a walk. When I walk past somebody and I have the confidence to say hi to them. Because the old me was one of those. I don't care what the, how they respond to me. But I'm proud of the fact that I can look at them in the eye and wave and say hi. Because we're both out there having a good time. And if they're not having a good time, they ain't going to be walking for very long. I can stop and help somebody out and feel good about it. I can do these videos for free. And it makes me feel really good. This is part of my keto moments. 
There are so many little keto moments that replace eating and drinking as part of the routine in our lives. Because a fat person is always looking for an opportunity to eat. And if you can learn to look for little keto moments, maybe finding a time every day where you have a little connection with a higher power, a little bit of prayer or a little bit of meditation. Maybe going to your closet somewhere and rooting around and finding that old guitar that you thought you'd love to play and you played it really well for a while, but it's grown dust. Maybe taking all the clothes off your treadmill or your peloton or whatever's become your exercise coat hanger. And saying, hey, I'm just going to go for a little walk. Maybe throwing away your Fitbit that tells you how pathetic you are when you don't do 10,000 steps. And just loving going for a walk again. Find keto moments. A game of cards after dinner. These are all for my own life. Laughing with my baby. <laughs> it's, it's those little things, folks. Because that's what life's about. Keto moments and ritualizing them so that throughout the day you're trolling for those moments. Being kind, being generous, giving of yourself to others and being there to unload somebody else's burden instead of taking from other people all the time. Quelling your anger and figuring out what the issue is and either being there for other people to talk about the issues or maybe if desired, giving them some guidance, not unsolicited. Those are keto moments, folks. And if you populate your life with a whole bunch of keto moments, you're replacing snacking and carbohydrates as a way of life with an actionable way of life. And if you do that, and if you're trolling for more opportunities all the time, you ain't going back. Because when life throws curveballs at you, it's where you go. Not on good days, but on bad days. And if you go back to carbohydrates and snacking on a bad day, that's called a relapse. But if you go for a longer walk, spend more time in prayer, call up a friend and talk to them about it, you're having a keto moment. And you're dealing with your emotional struggles in a more effective way. Everyone gets depressed. Everyone's anxious. It's not about depression or anxiety. It's about what tools do I have in my toolkit to help me to get out of that? And you're not suddenly going to walk your dog on a bad day if you don't walk your dog every day. Build up a repertoire of keto moments that you can have every single day so that when you need them, that muscle memory is there and it becomes automatic. This is addiction management, folks. It's not just about carbohydrates. It's about filling the other void that the removal of carbohydrates and snacking leaves in your life. We all know the nutritional side. But what about the emotional void? Because you're not going to relapse nutritionally. You're going to relapse emotionally. Keto moments. Keto moments. Keto moments. Pride in those keto moments. Guys, keto moments are critical to bridge you across those moments in your day when you ordinarily snack for emotional relief. I am the Carb Addiction Doc. Hit like, hit dislike, but hit something, a thumbs up or a thumbs down on this. And if you like what we do, subscribe to our channel. It helps to pay the bills. And this is entirely free. It's entire, entirely charitable. Take care. Bye-bye.